There are many things that happen to you when seasons are changing. Can I give you four of them? Maybe just quickly for your knowledge. Listen to me. Every time you come to the end of a season and another season is opening, these four things happen to you. Number one. So welcome to Dynamics of our YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be giving a thoughtful revision on a podcast by Apostle Joshua Solomon. This podcast is a very powerful message and I want each and every one of us to sit tight and listen. Have you ever felt an intense urge to pray or give sacrificially out of nowhere? These signs could mean your life season is about to change. In this powerful teaching, you will learn about these four keys. An unusual desire to pray, a strong urge to give, sudden demonic attacks and pull towards solitude. These are not random feelings but divine signals preparing you for a new phase. The time to prepare is now. Are you paying attention? Please make sure you share this powerful message with your friends and make sure you like and turn on the notification button. Thank you. There are many things that happen to you when seasons are changing. Can I give you four of them? Maybe just quickly for your knowledge. Listen to me. Every time you come to the end of a season and another season is opening, these four things happen to you. Number one, an unusual desire to pray. It is a strategy that God puts within your spirit so that you will translate those seasons accurately. Number one, an unusual desire to pray. Number two, an unusual desire to give, to give sacrificially. You will never transit prophetic seasons without God making a strong demand upon your life. Abraham, take now thy son. A season is about to open thine only son whom thou lovest. An unusual desire to pray an unusual desire to give are you ready when seasons are about to change in your life there are unusual demonic attacks because the realm of the spirit they may not understand but they see unusual angelic activities what is going on around the life of this man and demons are wise enough to know that every time you see angels around a man around a business around a church is a signification that a season is about to end when Satan saw unusual angels around Jesus while he was praying and fasting, Satan came and waited at the wilderness patiently. The Bible says that angels came and ministered to him. An unusual desire to pray. An unusual desire to give. An unusual attack. And then number four. Can I tell you what the fourth key is? When a season is about to change, you will not have the passion to be around people again. There will be an unusual drawing. God will now begin to draw you to intense seasons of consecration. You will find out that sometimes, even around your husband or your wife, you don't even want to be around anybody because there are things only, it is, it is between you and God. He wants to open up to you a new blueprint. I'm saying this because with these indicators, someone is now seeing that I am actually ending a season in my life. And starting another one so this desire to pray I am always prayerful but what is this desire to pray and then this unusual desire to give and then this demonic attack it looks like everybody around me is now fighting me don't fight them back you are wasting your time these are these are demonic orchestrations to distract your focus have you noticed that there are times when you spend time in the presence of God as you come out everything is offending you everybody is offending you it's a strategy to distract you remember we wrestle not against flesh and blood mm -mm. is someone learning you must learn to discern times the Bible says he made the lights the stars to signify times and seasons that means there are lights that signify times I wish I had the time I would have told you stories upon stories in my own life when I knew that certain seasons were coming to an end woe betides a man who cannot discern and a new season just comes to pass you and you do not even know like Jacob mm -mm. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. Forever Yahweh.
one of the keys to training your discernment is to commit to the ministry of prayer and the word listen believers don't waste tonight i know we will praise i know we will sing but it is important for you to know the bible says there is as it were many voices and none of them is without signification do you know for someone one of the music ministers will come up here and they will raise a song that everybody will be dancing with but to you it is a sign that song will be that this is the sign by this sign is telling you that a new season is opening up most believers in church are not discerning we just come and jump around and go back and season and the realm of the spirit is trying to notify you woman of god the mantle is about to start speaking do you not know that grace to pray shut down on everything and go back for two or three days of fasting and prayer lord what are you saying then the blueprint for the ministry comes what are you saying proverbs 18 and verse 1 says through desire a man having separated himself seeket and intermeddled with all wisdom all wisdom all wisdom all wisdom one instruction will come i have anointed you this day sing my praises to the nations uh, that's it you can come out and say oh, so this is it that means the grace is upon my life Man of God, don't assume it is time for you to start ministry. Don't assume it is time for you to start preaching. Can I tell you, when God wants to lift you next week, Satan will bring you a proposal now. Not every open door is of God. Even the prison has a door. So when a door is open, verify where you are entering. You can, a door can be open and you will enter thinking it's breakthrough. Only to find out you shot yourself in a prison. Can I tell you? The unbecoming of believers in these end times will be assumption and presumption. Never assume there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Lord, should I pursue? Especially when great doors begin to open. Don't be in a hurry. My father, you are the one who lifts me. Speak to me. If I do not hear your voice, I'm not taking a step. Some trust in horses and chariots, but we trust in the name of our God. I have potentials to open five and ten branches, you may be saying, in worry as a pastor. But Lord, is it your will? Don't say everybody is doing it. No. Listen, I am praying that by this meeting tonight, that God will plant upon someone the grace. There is something called inquiry prayer. Inquiry prayer is not give me tea, give me bread. We are talking about prayers that connect to Kairos moments. Should I pursue? And if his voice does not come, you stay there. Shabakato sabiata sometimes listen let me challenge you especially i know that there are lots of worship ministers here let me speak to you by the spirit every time you are alone with god listen very carefully because in his voice will come melodies that one song that comes from the secret place one song can announce you and give you global visibility beyond your imagination there are songs that do not die because they did not come from the earth realm there are songs that as soon as you are hearing it as the person is going back to his seat the song is dying as you are clapping because it was just human manipulation but there are songs that are deep in the spirit man of god could tonight be the moment where god wants you to encounter grace you want to arise it will not happen because you have stayed long <clears throat> You have been wasting your chronos. For some of you, you are one week left to step into your Kairos moment. Imagine a student who has not been reading and now has one week to write the final exams. It's going to take the grace of God. That's why the Bible says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy. 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 The Lord was in this place and I knew not. Tonight you will hear the trumpet 
you will hear the saxophone you will hear singing you will hear worship i pray that it will not just be a special number or celebrities ministering that in the midst of the sounds you will hear your own sound hmm. The sound that is connected to the anointing upon your life. The sound that will open you up to new dimensions. The sound that will birth something within your spirit. Businessman, did you know that you can stay with God and you just hear one, one instruction from God and you go and do exactly what he asks you to do and you will create transgenerational wealth that will outlive you to the third and the fourth generation. Hallelujah. Yes. Apostle, my own is anointing. When will it come? God will never call you without empowering you. But the key is to continue to learn and build. Because the oil will always assume the shape of the vessel. If the vessel is small, it will make the oil look small. So while you are waiting for the oil, go and borrow vessels. Don't borrow oil, but borrow vessels. Enlarge your capacity. It says, borrow not a few. Man of God, you want to be a prophet to the nations with the trial and error that you have now? God cannot trust destinies to your hands like that. Can you speak the purposes of God to nations? with audacity and power go and stay with him let him walk upon you let him purge you let him build you let him anoint you listen there is no power in existence not when you understand the interplay of chronos and kairos we're going to find a place to pray hallelujah I thank God today for certain seasons I was able to maximize in my life. Seasons that came by instruction. Certain seasons, certain fastings, certain prayers, certain books, certain men. Things that may not make sense. Some of you, God can give you an instruction in the night. I'm talking of discernment. Just walk around your living room praying in the spirit. I will come to you. It may not make sense. You just obey. That's why the Bible says that the kingdom is for people who are childlike. And you are going around. One hour, two hours. Lord, what are you saying? I'm just walking around my parlor. And then the spirit of God comes to you. And he says, now get a Bible and a paper. Start writing. Man of God. Every time you stand before the people, kneel before me and I will honor that meeting. That becomes your strategy. Somebody would do it and it will not work because it was not a covenant. So you see certain people do certain things and you see it work wonders. And you try to copy because it did not come by revelation and absolutely nothing works for you. I dread taking any step. That was not sponsored by the voice of God. I have seen the value of discernment. For some of you, you have rushed seasons that God has no business in. You need to retrace your step tonight to say, Lord, I want to start afresh. I was angry because all my colleagues were in ministry. And I felt I don't want anybody to disrespect me. So I started a small prayer group. And you see how you are suffering as if God is not alive? Because... That you cannot secure a divine backing over something that was carnal and mundane. Discernment. Let me give you the second and we'll pray. Is God speaking to someone tonight? The second thing you need to do is to obtain grace to take prompt action. Prompt action. We maximize seasons when we take prompt action. Listen, when God has not spoken, when you do not understand the direction, you wait. But when his voice comes and he gives you the green light, procrastination may mean the difference between you and the next season. I taught you, John chapter 5, the pool of Bethesda. Can you imagine that man was lying down close to the pool? One year became five years. 
five years became 10 years 10 years became 15 i'm sure someone will come to visit that pool and say my friend you are still here he says yes remember i came after you and now i've left and you are still here next year i will try it do you know if jesus did not help that man he would have died there being around a miracle does not bring a miracle it means you are closer to a miracle it is your action of obedience action of obedience when god says give give immediately can i tell you in this kingdom you strike when the iron is hot because when you come back to the realm of the flesh the instruction god gave that made sense as that when you were with him in the secret place will no longer make sense again so it is wise to take steps quickly before the devil comes to cheat you hallelujah action many people have missed on their days of visitation because they do not know what action to take oh for instance give jesus a shout of praise and you've been struggling with something some growth is there and that was the prophetic instruction you just felt these musicians like shouting jerry i'm tired of all this nonsense i've been shouting <coughs> that shout would have been the shout that brings out that tumor forever because it looked to you like an ordinary shout except that there was a covenant that was backing that statement whatever he tells you to do mary said do it and guess the instruction fill six pots with water and then fetch without verifying whether it has become wine you are not allowed to taste it start going to the rulers how many of you can take that kind of risk the rulers are waiting and then you are saying sir wine is coming and then you fetch water and literally they could jail you and kill you but that is the power of obedience the signs don't go before the signs follow you must take steps of faith this sign shall follow this sign shall follow it didn't say this sign shall go with it is the lord that goes with the signs follow as proof that you have taken steps of faith hallelujah i remember one time two testimonies and we pray i was praying in the spirit preparing and then the lord brought me this scripture deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded this day that the Lord your God will set thee on high above how many nations? All the nations of the earth. He says and this blessing shall come upon thee and shall overtake thee. These were the words that God brought to me. And from that situation, that lowly estate, would I believe this? I said, Lord, I believe you. It may not make sense, but if this is your prophetic destiny for me, then I believe. And whatever step it will take, and whatever price I will pay, in partnership with your grace, and in partnership with prophetic timings, I obtain that grace. Can I tell you the truth? When God speaks to you, Ba, believe that he's not playing with you. I hope you know if God said it, it does not guarantee that it will happen. It depends on your believing. It depends on your participating through obedience. They heard the word just like we did. It says the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So the sons of Issachar, that they had an understanding of the times, then to know what Israel ought to do. And the Bible says their brethren were at their command. One time the Lord spoke to me and said that you will not only raise people who are spiritual, you will raise kings and people of influence. And he gave me the scripture, Genesis chapter 17 and verse 6. This was the scripture he gave me. Please give it to us. Genesis 17 verse 6. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings will come out of you. You will not draw kings to come, they will come out of you. I believed him I believed him what has he told you 
Have you discerned seasons in your life? Did you know that your chronos is a gift by God, from God, to prepare for those kairos moments? Apostle, it's been 10 years without a child. I know I understand. But what are you doing? Do you not know that every time there was delay in childbirth in the Bible, the child that came always became a covenant child and a prophet. So while you are waiting, are you preparing for Samuel? Are you preparing to, to raise John the Baptist? Was Samuel an ordinary child? Was John the prophet an ordinary child? So your 10 years delay, rather than just crying in lamentation alone, you go to the word and say, what happened to all the women who had delays? That the children who came were prophetic children. So Lord, whilst I am waiting, I begin to build myself in the similitude of Elizabeth. I build myself in the similitude of Hannah to hand over Samuel back to you. Because Samuel becomes that prophet who will ordain the kings in Israel. Listen, let me speak to someone. Stop crying about the days you anticipate to come. Start preparing for them because they will come. Unfortunately, they will not come in a way that you will see easily. Jesus said, you use the weather, paraphrasing, to know that after four months, then come the harvest. That means the harvest never takes you by surprise. I have put times and seasons for you to know. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. When I found this key, I vowed that I will never miss out on prophetic seasons in my life. The key is not to look for them. The key is to prepare while I trust the Lord God of heaven to connect me. So I prepare in prayer. I prepare in fasting. I prepare in building. I prepare in learning that the things that I do not know because the Bible says 1 Corinthians 8 and verse 2 it says and if any man think that he knoweth anything it says let him know that he does not know as he ought to know he knows nothing yet as he ought to know so Joshua Selman there are many things you do not yet know and you humble yourself to learn because the Bible says to receive with meekness the engrafted word you don't receive with pride you don't receive with a sense of a, a, an arrival mentality are we together you are here tonight many of you have labored some of you are standing I saw so many people outside and to others it may not make sense what is so special about this meeting that you are outside in the cold you are outside in the rain anybody who laughs at you remind them that you are using your chronos to prepare for kairos why do you serve in church like a fool they are not paying you they are using you you tell them no 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 it's a track record it always starts with serving tables but i will end up a mighty man is someone learning how come you are serving God? Nobody has told you thank you. Some of you have heard my story. Many years ago, I used to carry my own keyboard, Pastor, and trek from my house to go and play a keyboard for one man who, you know, he, he was using a hotel. He just started ministry. From church, I would return and go back, carry my own small keyboard and take there, and I would play that keyboard. Nobody ever told me thank you. The only thing I got one day was one cassette and one Fanta. When he was launching his cassette, then it, there was nothing like CD, his cassette. One cassette was given to me as a gift, and then they were sharing drinks, and they gave me minerals. Who would have known that that little boy playing keyboard would be sent to the nations? Who would have known that that usher here at this church, who is always sweeping this church? Can I tell you, every door God opens for you is not the real door he wants to open. That is so a test to see what you do. Uh, if God makes you an usher, it is truly not an usher that you will remain. There is a transition in the spirit. The Bible says, moreover, it is required in men. I do not know anyone God is using across the nation today who cannot tell you a track record of painful seasons where their work and their labor did not make sense. Do not think, the Bible says, though the vision tarries, the hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait. 
when these seasons do you know the connection from chronos to kairos i'm wrapping up now man of god wait i know you are feeling cheated that anointing you have is boiling you have greek and hebrew you want to preach don't worry when the seasons open you will preach and be tired and not know what part of the bible to read again you just be patient keep preparing the sermons there are enough sinners to exhaust your sermon be patient Pouring seasons unnecessary will only waste your time. He says, eat for the journey is far. He ate a little and he lay down. The angel tapped him. I know where you are going. Keep eating. Prophet, eat. Man of God, eat. A day will come you will need to have stamina. I just returned from a trip as I'm standing jumping like this. Because you see, through experience and by the election of grace, he has trained us to know how to draw the strength of the spirit. Even when your physical strength is, you cannot fake some things. You will just die. Let me tell you, there are people, this wanting announcement, in two weeks of travel, you will return back and a doctor will have to say, just leave ministry. Because you have not trained your spirit man. He says, though our, out, our outer man perish, but that the inner man is renewed. Have you learned how to tap supernatural strength? Lord, I must do the ministry. Now God opens it and you have ministrations back to back. And then you break down. You become a reproach to God because of lack of preparedness. Someone, this is a prophetic word for you. The call of God upon your life is not a lie. But allow seasons to bring you wait and while waiting serve and while serving pray and while praying fast and while fasting study mm, yes sir the kind of mantle that is coming upon you is a very delicate mantle watch those who carry the mantle study their mistakes and learn don't just smile and be debating if you are Elijah, Jezebel is coming after you. So just be, be, while you are shouting, give me Elijah. You better know what to do with Jezebel. Because Jezebel does not follow men. She follows Elijah's. So when that mantle comes upon you, I know I am a Samson to my generation. Tell me what you are going to do with Delilah. There are spirits that don't follow men. They follow mantles. I am a kingdom financier. Is that true? Have you studied about the king of Tyre? The one who sits upon that mountain. He took Jesus and said, Bow to me and I will give you the whole world and the glory. What shall it profit a man, he says. So when God is training you to be that financial apostle, just when you buy the car and you make the first 10 million, God will say, give the car and the 10 million you will bind and cast his voice thinking he was a demon and he says it's not about the car i'm revealing to you that the loss that still resides within you cannot make you my treasurer my last treasurer disappointed me i'm looking for who i can train and still trust with the resources of the kingdom there are many believers claiming things in church and not knowing that every day that passes is a gift to prepare for your destiny david stay and kill the lions no applause but stay stay and kill the bear david stay until you become king joseph stay until you become prime minister esther forget that you are a village girl your destiny is in the palace so prepare yourself mary you are going to be carrying jesus so be careful something happens to your life you will not be able to carry Jesus who is God speaking to